Hey guys, Rubik Snap here and in this tutorial I'll show you how to solve the 7x7 Rubik's Cube. So let's see how it is. Yeah. Alright, now it's scrambled and we'll be using the reduction method which is to solve the centers, then the edges and then like a big 3x3. Three three. So let's start by the centers with the white center. So this is a odd layered cube seven layers so we have a real center so let's start by this one we just have to find pieces to make a bar in this case we'll make vertical bars and so i can pair these two with a center like this and let's find another one this one for example so this is intuitive so you just have to find ways to put them together and make a vertical bar all right so the last piece we need is here so I can't just bring it down otherwise I would unsolve what I have already solved so let's just bring these down to another layer for example this one and now I can pair them together from this side like that and now we have the white side all done now let's go for the opposite the yellow and let's do the same starting by the middle finding pieces that go together with the middle and now we gotta be careful when we push it up we gotta take it to another layer to then bring it down and fix the white center always so again I have this layer I must bring it up so keep it on the same side as the one that's already solved bring only this layer up turn twice to another side and bring it back down okay now for the last bar the pieces I need are here again so let's bring them down to another layer like this and now I can join them together from here like that there we go and again this is in the same side that solved bring it up turn twice bring it down and you have our first two centers now let's go for the next one so if yellow is on top the color scheme would be blue as you can see here this is hard to get mistaken uh, so blue red green and orange so we have the middle centers here telling us the color scheme so I'll just keep it like this white on the left yellow on the right and solve like this making vertical bars so for example I can join these three together and now let's find more pieces this one and this one and there we go we have a vertical blue bar all right that's the blue center and now again we must be careful when solving the next one the red not to unsolve this one so let's find the piece that goes here turn to another side and bring it back down there's our first vertical bar now for the last two centers let's first try to complete the middle bar so for example like that so we have our vertical middle bar and now let's just try to bring as many greens up as we can so i can put this like that and this one like that let's bring it up so we have three bars okay now we get into a case that's hard to change more pieces because everything we do on one side will undo it on the other so now the easiest way is to use commutators i'm gonna do just one piece at a time so that it's easier for example this one needs to swap with this one so bring this layer down only it's this piece so let's do an F to turn it into a different layer so now it's here bring this layer down as well bring it back to the left bring it back up back to the right back up so now let's swap this with this one so bring this layer down do an F prime for example to bring it to another layer bring this new layer down and do the F move bring the first layer up and do the f move, do the f move again and fix the first the second layer now only three pieces to go so in this case i can swap these two with these two at once so if i bring this layer down remember it's these two pieces so i can do an f prime so that they are both in different layers so in this and this one so bring these new layers down do the f move bring the first layer up and do the F move and bring both these layers up and there we go only one to go so put them on the same positions bring the layer down to another side down fix it up 
and up. And there we go, that's our all the centers done. Now let's go for the edges. So I'd recommend you keep the white on the bottom just so that it's easier to keep track of the pieces that you have already solved. And let's solve the white and red here. So bring it down. So this is red, white. This is red, white. So let's insert it like that. And now this one is in the wrong position. So what we can do here is bring this one to another layer and do the flipping algorithm here and now fix the centers and now it's red and white so we can join them together all of them like this so we have three pieces let's find the other two pieces oh this one and this one so this one is already oriented the right way so let's just bring it over and the other one needs to be flipped, so let's do the flipping algorithm. And now we can join them all together. There we go. And take it up, replace with an unsolved edge. Fix the centers. All centers fixed, and this one is solved. Let's bring it down to another unsolved spot. So now we have two. So now I see this blue and red. I see this blue and red as well, so set it up and slice to put them together. Now I see this red and blue, set it up as well, join them together and always being really careful not to mess with the center. So every move I do like this, it's set up moves that won't mess with the centers. So it's like just R U R prime or R U prime R prime so those moves won't ever mess with the center so be really careful with that and now the other piece I need is on the bottom so let's just flip the cube upside down and it's here so let's set it up like that and bring it over and replace with this and soft edge fix the centers and there we go now we have three edges Let's keep this on the bottom again and go for the next ones. And there we go. Now these are all solved. So keep this on the bottom. Now we don't have to mind with the bottom side anymore. It's all visible to us. Now everything is solved on the top and on the bottom. So only the four last edges to go. So when you get to this state, I think the easiest way to solve this is with the flipping algorithm. So for example, these two need to go here. So this is yellow orange. They need to go here, yellow orange, to match this edge. So what we can do using the flipping algorithm is first bring them down. So use the flipping algorithm on this side. So bring them to the opposite side where they need to go. So they need to go to these upper spots, bring them down. And now bring these two upper layers and do the flipping algorithm again. And now when we fix the centers, they will go into the place they need to go. So that's the strategy we'll be using to solve the rest of the centers. So this one is flipped, it should be yellow and orange. So I know that once I flip it, it will go down. So it will be long here. So I can bring this layer over, do the flipping algorithm to bring it down. And fix the centers and it will go into place. So now the same for this one, it's flipped, so once I flip it, it will go here, so it will belong to this layer. So bring this layer as well, flip it, and fix the centers. There you go, now only three last edges to go. So again, this will belong here, so let's just bring it down by flipping it. And now bring this layer where it will belong, flip again. Fix the centers, there it goes, and now the other two are here, so this one will flip and go down here to this place, so bring it over, flip it, fix the center, and now this one the same for this layer, so bring it over, flip it, fix the centers, that's two solved. Now this and this one only left, so turn this twice to put them adjacent to each other. So this is the white and green middle edge, so all the white and greens will be here, not here, because this is the middle edge. So these two are flipped, 
So if I flip them, they will belong here. So bring these layers to here, flip it, fix the centers. There they go. And now this one will belong here. So bring it over, flip it and fix the centers. And luckily we didn't get any parity and now every single edge is solved. Okay, and if you get the parity, this is what it looks like. So only one edge that can't be solved because this middle edge is flipped. So all you can do here is the edge parity algorithm, which is like the same for every BQ, just with more layers. So R wide with three layers in this case, U2. Do a next rotation, rotate the cube to the front like this. And again, R three layers U2. And again, and now R prime, but with four layers, U2. L with three layers only, U2. Now only with three layers, all of them. R right prime, U2. R right prime, U2. R right prime, U2. R right prime, and there we go. We solved the parity and now all edges are solved. So now let's just final part, solve it like a big 3x3 three three. and I've got the tutorial if you don't know how to solve a 3x3 three three. for beginners, it will be here, so you can go check it out if you need it. So for this odd layered cube, you don't have OLL parity, it's like a 5x5 five five five. and you don't have PLL parity either. So now PLL. And there we go, that's our 7x7, seven seven, all solved. Okay, I hope this helped you solve your first 7x7. Seven seven. Let me know which is your biggest cube, this is my biggest cube. And if you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials and much more. And we we'll meet again in the next video, bye bye.